Welcome back to the channel, it's another one here with BBA and I'm here today in, at Maidley Court Hotel in Telford and uh, it's quite a long walk down from where we've parked but look at all this, I'm sure this is all part of it football pitches rugby pitches I don't know if it is part of it, but it's certainly right next to the side of it. And then we've got this walk down way here. I'm assuming it's down here, this hotel. I'm out with, again with uh, PK Audits and Jizzy. So links in the description. Do go over and give them a sub. As I'm sure their video here will be slightly different to mine. So we're going to have a little walk down anyway. Oh, I forgot. And uh, I'll bring this back when I'm a bit further down. Peace. So yes, here we are a bit further down. Welcome to Maidley Court Hotel. And look at this, this is impressive. Why not? Why? Oh, come on, mate. I've traveled a long way to come and see this building. It's a historic building. No, we'll just have a quick squeeze anyway. It won't be long, five minutes. There we are. So, this is Maidley Court Hotel. Some guy in the car saying I can't come in here, I'm not allowed. However, look at the history behind this building. Beautiful what a beautiful grounds this is. This is Maidley Court Hotel. What's going on, mate? You right? So here we are, mainly caught. What's going on, mate? You alright? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, I do. But I've travelled a long way today to come see this building. It's a very historic building. We're going to have to ask you to leave, Bob. Oh, once I've got some film, mate, I will. But I've travelled a long way to come see this building. Um, and it's publicly accessible. I haven't gone anywhere that I'm not allowed. What's going on, mate? You alright? Yeah, not too bad. What are you doing, mate? Just filming. Yeah. Historic it's building, isn't it? Property. I know it's private property. So you can't be on here if it's private. Why not? Where's the owner? The owner's not here. Well, the owner's the only one that can trespass me. We can tell you you can't be on here. You can tell me I can't be on here, of course. It's being trespassing. Of course, but a trespass is a civil matter. Of course it is. So unless... Well, so at that, 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 that moment... Cones there for a reason. Cones don't define... Yeah, cones don't define where I can go and where I can't. Just because you put a couple of cones somewhere doesn't mean that that's, I can't go there, well, you does don't it? Have authority to be here. I don't need authority to be here. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a right off a public road to be able to come down a road where there's no gates. Yeah, there's nothing that stops me. I have implied right of access. Yeah. So I'm coming here to look at a historic building. This thing is historic. Well, yeah. And why? Why are you going to tell me it's closed? Under, under what basis is it closed? The historic building like this. Under what basis? But There's no basis for it. Okay, it's closed. Don't, guess what? I don't want to come in. I just want to have a look around. Well, we can't let you come look around. Well, I'm not asking for your permission. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not, I'm not looking for your permission. You know, like people do these like urban explorers. Anyway, try and look over here. This is interesting. This is an old. Very old country estate house. If you report us, you will be committing a criminal offence. Because reporting a crime that isn't a crime is a criminal offence. So if you want to report us to the police, be warned. I'll tell you what though, but I do need to ask a quick question. Is there, is there children residing here at the moment? Just so I can be mindful, I don't like to get children in my shots. There is. No worries. Oh, there we go. That should have told me that there's children here. So we'll try not to get any children in. Busy here, mate. 
Is it busy here? It's nice, this. What a nice place. South Wing. South Wing. South Wing 2. That one's called South Wing 1. Um, but yeah, nice place. Very nice place. Very historic. I would like to know the age of this building. I'm going to look for a little bit of history on there and if I can find that um, information, I will um, add it to this video. Maidley Court as well. I've left PK down there, still arguing with them about whether we should be here or not. Look at the grounds to this place. I'll tell you what, it's a bit of a shame this has been close to the public, if I'm honest. It's a shame about a lot of these hotels, but this one, look at it. Look, it's got some real age to this. Some real age. But nice hotel. Oh yeah. Wow, bet you can't see that. There's a massive old chandelier. You can't see it, but it's huge. It looks like a big cast iron chandelier. It looks like it's original, but it looks like it's kind of been restored and made more modern. Conkers, starting to get conkers now, this time of year. Won't be long till they all start falling from the tree. How long is this tree to be closed for, man? Do you know? No idea. Do you know how long it's been shut for at the moment? It's nice around here. How long has this place been closed for? I don't know. No idea. Do you got any idea? Don't tell them they need to go inside. They don't need to go inside at all. For their safety. Why are you? Why are you telling? Why are you talking shit for? I don't know you are. Don't swear at me. Why are you talking shit? Why? What are you going to do about it? No, I'm not trying to attack you. What pisses me off is the fact that you've just turned around and told this lady she's got to go inside. Why? Yeah, because I don't know you for Adams. Don't know you from Adam. Well, she I'm don't know you from Adam. I'm here to look after, look after the place. Look after the place. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there was no reason why I couldn't have spoke to them, is there? Well, I'll just make sure they're inside. So now they're in there thinking that for some reason, people, anybody they come into contact with is unsafe, right? Do you think that's a good message to send out to these people? Not really. I'm just making sure I don't know you, you don't know me. So I'm putting them inside for their safety. Sounds like if anybody else comes on site, I'll do the same. You to lock them inside? I'm not locking them inside. They've got a door there. They're getting in and out. They look, they, you, you pretty much just pushed them in there. I didn't put a hand on they, it. They just watched you. I didn't know. I opened the door so you can go inside. No, you need to go inside. You need to. She doesn't no, need to do anything. No, they don't need to do anything. They don't need to do anything. Nothing you say. Like, I don't need to do nothing you say. Do you understand me? 
Don't have to do what you say. You're not asking me stupid evil eyes. They're not scaring me one bit. Not, they're not trying to. They're, they're not evil eyes. They're not. If you think my eyes are evil, then that's you know that's you're your fucking. Pardon? Pardon? You're trying to antagonize something. It's not going to happen. Antagonate. Yeah, do you mean antagonize? That's the one. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Antagonize. No, I'm not at all. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I want to know why it is you just told them they've got to go inside when no, they don't. Their it's not theirs. We live in we live in a free country where they have a right to come and go. Yeah, they might do. Yes, yeah, so well, you've got no you, right to dictate to them. So put them inside for safety. It's not a big issue, is it? Well, it is, isn't it? Just, just your choice of words is a big you, issue. You could uh, you could flip that and turn around and. I I could flip that. I could flip that right and turn around and say I'm ninety five percent sure that most people that stay in here haven't been vetted properly, right? You could turn around and say that they're, they're a fucking sa safety issue for me. I don't me. know their, their situation, their medical history, so I don't know. Well, exactly. This is what I mean. You don't know, because you've just admitted it there. You don't know them from Adam. No, we don't. You don't know them from Adam, so... You, 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 shouldn't, you shouldn't assume that we're here just to, like, sort of cause trouble. We're not only we. All we want to do is basically do a welfare check. We want to speak to... And it ain't a good welfare check, is it, when you're telling them to get inside? Get inside. Of your, of your residence, just to make yeah. sure that the £50,000 a year that they get per person, they're getting, you know, like steaks or whatever for tea. You know, you know what I mean? Otherwise... You're not getting steaks. Well, why not? I mean, if it costs £50,000 per person, what are they getting? £1,000 a week. What, what, are they, what are they eating in here, then? Do so you can tell me they're not eating that, but you can't eat... Don't talk no more. Why, why are you dictating? Why are you dictating? Why are you dictating? Why are you telling people? You, you. I bet you're the type that goes home and fucking kicks your dog, ain't you? No, I'm not. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand from your guy's perspective why it is you would keep telling these people that that, that people are some kind of risk. I don't have to listen to you either. We'll see. We'll see. That hasn't gone too well. About four or five times today. You're not the only hotel I've been to. I don't care where you've been. Okay. All the same, what you've done, called the police? Yes. Have you? It's ridiculous, really, isn't it? What have you called the police for? Because now you've committed a criminal offence. Thank you. Well, we'll see when we get here, won't we? <laughs> we will, yeah. I hope you're as clued up on the law as, you know, I am. Well, I hope you've done your Google research. I hope you have. I don't need to do Google research. You know? No. Nope. What uh, security company do you work for? Huh? Yeah, I do. I've come into. How, if I wanted to make a complaint against you now, who am I making that to? I don't know. Well, exactly. So, 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 so you're not willing to tell me. I want to make a complaint about you. Name? I'm not giving you my name. Well, then why do I work for? Because you're representing a company right now. Yeah. Am I correct? Yes. So therefore, when you're asked, you should be given the, that information. I don't want no. your name. I don't want your name. I would like to know where it is that you work. What's your company oh, well, that you yeah. work for? No, what's your company that you work I'm for? I'm not giving any details of who I work for. If you were so sure about the instructions you're giving today, you'd give that. No. You would. I don't need to. You would. How many people are staying in here? Do you know? I'm not answering any questions, sorry. Why? Are you not allowed? I don't want to. Personally. But are you allowed? I can answer whatever I want to free. Can you? Free. You've been told you can. You haven't I'm been told you've not had no one. gagging order put on you. What have we gagged for? Well, Home Office like to give out instructions that are, oh, you know. Against people's human rights. The Home Office give instructions to people they want to give instructions to. I don't have to follow their rules. Well, you do. If the Home Office, well, I'm not if work for Home Office. no, but if the Home Office are subcontracting you guys, then surely, and I'm going to move out the way because there's children. You know your mate. He's a plum. I've just turned around and said I'll turn around so I'm not filming no kids, and he's like, oh, you can't come out here. A mask as well, bro. You know COVID's over, isn't it?
clothes and stuff in there. Looks like it's being used as some kind of storage room. See uh, a children's travel cot as well. The doors here, but I imagine they're all locked. This is in here. It doesn't seem to open. Loads of linen, towels, bed sheets, maybe. Definitely some towels there. Nice little seating area. I'll tell you what, this ain't a bad place to be stopping. What star hotel is this, mate? Four star, innit? Don't know. Gotta be a four star, man. I bet something like this costs a lot, innit? Imagine it costs a lot of money. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, nearly tripped up there. Big door that. Interesting place, eh? Oh, nice garden here. We'll have a look at this on the way out. Not too sure what this is. Some kind of stone memorial. Not no memorial, sorry, stone um, feature. Don't know where memorial come from there, sorry. But what a place. What a beautiful place. I imagine they used to cater for weddings and that, you know, I'd best just look on the sign quick. Again, there's not a lot of people about. I can tell you that apparently women and children are staying here. So I'll try being mindful of keeping any children out. Um... Abraham Darby Suite, Cellar Vaults, The Mill, Priory Restaurant and Reception. He's well miserable, he is. I don't suppose you'll know much about this place, will you? In the sense of like, do you reckon they'd have held weddings here before? I believe they did, yeah. Yeah, I bet they did, didn't they? Would have thought so. It's 
That's why the government, man, you know, the government should sort this out a lot quicker, really, shouldn't they? But yeah, nice place. Well, listen, mate, I'm going to go stand back out the front. I've done my filming. I said that's what I'd do, yeah? Once I've done what I needed to do, which was just get a little bit of... I can't imagine you can get round the back if you can. I'm not going to try. Uh, but, yeah, nice area, people. Be set off away from where the main road is. There's a right big driveway on the way down. Actually, it's quite big. But we will stand out the front. We'll see if any residents come and go. Um, and if they do, we we'll stick around to ask them a, for an interview or two. Oh, mate. No. Sorry, you're eating. I thought you called me. Sorry. I said sorry, I thought you called me, you didn't. It's all right. Beautiful round here, man. It's been shot for a few years. It's been shot for a few years. Yeah, it's been shot for a few years. And uh, apparently there's large families here and they can't house them anywhere. They can't find any big enough houses. So he thinks it's going to be open in definite life. The blue plaque is because of the sundial. I asked him about the sundial. I asked his security about the sundial. He didn't know anything about it, but... Apparently the blue plaque is the, um, there's a sundial in the garden that's obviously like there from 1650 or whatever. Yeah. So. Ah, yeah. so it's not a case of, so the only reason they're really here, you're telling me, is because of the size of the families that are in there. Yeah. And we don't, uh, we, can't we don't build houses that well, accommodate no. for a si family no. that size. No. So they're probably be here for, for an indefinite length of time because... Well so an indefinite link in time, thinking well, like, how much would me or you pay for something well, private depends, rented like this? It basically depends on how long the government carry on paying for it. But he said definitely, I mean, he knew people that worked here, and he said definitely, when they go, it will need a complete reverb. So, That's mad, isn't it? I've got plot on, unless you want to see something else. I mean, I would say I'm going to have a look at the sundown. It's quite a nice sundown, but... Because he did say, I don't think you're allowed to go in there anymore. And I said, well, we went in anyway. He said, yeah, 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 come on, come on. Yeah. So, like, you know, the public obviously still want to go in. But for whatever reason, they still want to say no. What? Well, can't go in. So, why don't you talk up the garden? I mean, like, you know what, see the black? You see the black? Yeah, the black black, that basically says there's something special here. And there is. The sun battle is special. You know? Even then, right? You know? Is it just perfect? Oh, is it actually the council that own this? Apparently it's the council. Ah. So it's not, so it is public. So when you say it's private, it's not actually private. If the council owns it, then it's public, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Is that the way it is? What's that? If you say the council owns this building... Tell him not to worry about recording, man. Recording is all within the law. I don't know why anyone's worrying. Can I? Can I? Come on, man. <laughs> Apart from highlighting these hotels, you could say that this camera is also for my safety, right? I mean, I mean are, you a, are, you, are you a worker, Marlon? Yeah. And smoking. You know that's illegal, don't you? While we're here. Uh, 
There's the Maidley Parish Council plaque. Maidley Court Hotel, C16 Manor House, home of Sir Basil Brook, 1598 to 1646. Set up first steel furnace in Colbrookdale. So this was a steel furnace originally. Hi. Someone cue the music. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. <laughs> they call me the Milky Way kid, man. The milk, no, Milky Bar. Milky Bar kid. He's had a few Milky Bars. So have I, though, to be fair. Pardon? Sorry? What'd you say? Oh, that's original. So do I. You think you think I get a gut like this from not eating my um? Do you want me not to do it behind the camera? Yeah. Do you want me to pass it, to my mate, and do it in front of the camera? Is that what you'd like? There we are, mate. In front of my camera. Cheers, mate. No, 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 no. Have you actually called the police? Yeah. So, do you think for that reason I should stick about? Well, I am. I, I'm willing to compromise. I've and I've compromised. I've left. Yeah, but you've 
uh, if I stand up near the matey boy's car, have I left? Nah, come on. Come on, mate. Pardon? And who owns the hotel? Yeah, who owns it? Is it? What's their name? Well, surely, if I'm being trespassed, it'd be like nice to know whose property it is I'm trespassing on. Pardon? What, and it will tell me? Can you ask them if they'd like to do an interview? The people you, you shoved in there? No? Do you want to do an interview? Right. Well, I'm off, mate. So you can explain why you wasted police time, yeah? Way up. Fucking that's nearly twice now and nearly fell over. Hey? Don't know, mate. I'm not sticking around waiting for them. That's for that's for sure. Not after the last four hotels and every one of them has been like, crack on with what you're doing. Right, it seems pointless. But yeah, so mate, cheers anyway. If we've been a nuisance, we're not here to do that. Just document. And anyway, there we are, people. Another one madely caught. No point in even sticking around longer than I need to. They reckon they've called the police. If they've called the police, I guess we'll see them. Maybe on the way out. Maybe we'll get pulled again like we did earlier on in the day. PK's giving it to him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to leave this one here, people. Oh yeah, everyone needs to um, boycott these hotels for sure. They're all sellouts. Sellouts, the lot of them. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And uh, much love, people. Peace out.